Hey Saggy, what's up? Welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this video is going to be for the Sagittarius couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first half of September 2019. Keep in mind this is a general reading, Sag, so everything here won't apply to you. I'm going to be wrong about somebody's situation, okay, because it's a general situation, not a personal one. So check, feel free to check the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity if you happen to need it. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for the Sagittarius couples. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the first half of September 2019 for the Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, show me Sag couples. Yeah, so some of this is going to go vice versa, Sagittarius. As I stated, if it doesn't resonate at all, feel free to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And, yeah. Oh, join me for my meet and greet September 21st. It has been shifted from the 14th to the 21st. And the location has been shifted now to the L.A. area from Santa Barbara to L.A. Okay, so keep that in mind. Visit my website for more details. And also in the description box. Sagittarius. Oh, I didn't catch my three-day sale. It's from the 4th, September 4th to September 7th, $50 for a 30-minute live, live phone reading session. Okay, Sagittarius, it looks to me like you feel like you need a good cry. You want to cry about something. Maybe you feel that you need some emotional support at this time. Um, <laughs> you might be feeling like you're sleeping a lot lately. Maybe there is some sort of underlying depression. You're really obsessed with your phone. But at the same time, I feel that there's someone that you stop texting, you stop talking to, you stop stalking this person. And, um, or maybe this is what you're telling yourself. To stop stalking someone, stop thinking about them, right? That could be advice that you're giving to yourself. You're feeling off balance, but you're also feeling like you're in love, but obsessing over something. Something here, spirit is urging you to get something done that you've been procrastinating on. And I feel that there's someone here, whether it's you, Sag, or your partner, there's someone here with an ego. you got a feeling that you can't shake, Sag. And yeah, you feel like someone is lying to you. You might be feeling that you're whining and obsessing about something. Um, Someone a control freak? You feel like someone is controlling? Maybe you feel like your life is out of control right now. <sighs> You're definitely in love. Let's see. What is it that you need a good cry about? Because the central energy of your reading is reawaken. There's someone here that you're trying to let go. Someone that you've been trying to let go for a while, Sagittarius. They lied to you. You're obsessing about them, but you want to reawaken the relationship. The challenge to your situation is absence. You miss someone. You know how the saying goes, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Sagittarius, this is like, this is sounding like a, a singles reading. So I feel like you are at a distance from your partner. They're absent from your life right now. So if you, your partner could be in jail. Um, Sag, I'm seeing law and order. Like you're worried about a court decision, some type of legality, maybe some legal paperwork. Be sure to obey the traffic laws. There's something here that you may have to take action on with regard to a court decision. Or you're waiting for someone to take action. I do see new beginnings, a new opportunity. This could be with your work. There could be a new path that you're taking maybe with love. What, whatever it is in your life, there's definitely going to be a change in direction. And with this change in direction, there's no shuffling. There's no running in place. There's no dragging your feet. Spirit is going to pick you up and say it's time to move forward it's time to get something done something here is time sensitive is what i'm feeling sagittarius or you feel that you've been waiting enough time and you're saying you know it's time for you to step up to the plate and make a decision because we keep going around and around in circles i do feel at the end of this there is a silver lining um, I feel like that every situation offers something positive. You may not see it immediately, but it, whatever this is could possibly bring blessing or a, um, something could be a blessing in disguise. Somebody has to drop their ego. 
You're waiting for someone to heal something, to reawaken something, or something is going to be reawakened within you. You're feeling exhausted. You're tired of waiting for something or for someone to get it together or come around. I do feel that there is a new romantic cycle coming in for you with or without this person, Sagittarius. But I feel like you're feeling very emotional. Possibly some of you towards an Aquarius. You want them to bring love back into a situation. You're meditating. You're contemplating a decision. But someone here is going to have to step out of their comfort zone to end this very tough cycle. Um, possibly with a Capricorn, a Cancer, or an Aquarius, as I stated. You're wondering if this person is trustworthy. You're wondering if you're on the right path in your life. And you have an intention here that you're focused on, or Spirit is in encouraging you to stay focused on this intention, whatever it is that you're putting out into the universe. I do feel that there's someone coming toward you, someone mature in age. This could be someone, this could be your father. Maybe you're estranged from your father. Sag, father of your children. Let's get into it. I just heard Aries, because I was about to say Aries. You may have strong Aries in your chart. You may be a double fire sign, maybe with water. Or maybe you're wanting to reach out to a fire sign, a water sign, to mold fire and water combination in their chart. Sag, you're not feeling grounded. You're not feeling like yourself. Flighty, scattered thoughts, not able to, you know, easily distracted. Always in your phone. Because you stop speaking to somebody. There's no communication between you and possibly your partner. Possibly because they cheated on you or they, they're with someone else right now. Maybe you want to pay them a visit and go see them to see what's up. You're waiting for somebody to return. You're waiting for them to take initiative to reawaken the relationship. Sagittarius. Wow. Double fire sign. Okay. Some of you, or you may be dealing with a fire sign. This could be fire and fire relationship. I feel like there's no doubt a lot of passion between the two of you. But someone is feeling very guarded and trying to keep up a very strong facade as if everything is all good. I'm unaffected by the breakup, but really, truthfully, I'm hurt. And I need someone to come to my aid and I need some type of emotional support because I'm breaking down. Okay. Some of you, this could have something directly related to health. You, there could be a health um, scare and with someone that you are very close to, Sagittarius. I feel like someone, you feel hidden. You feel like this person is hiding you. There was some type of betrayal that took place in the past. And I feel that this person did smooth things over with you. Possibly, like I said, you're a child. You may have given them another chance. And they, they caused you this feeling of victimhood, a feeling of feeling defeated. And I can't say that they caused that because no one could make you feel inferior without your own consent, right? Eleanor Roosevelt said it well. Sarah and Aquarius in the picture. Are you at odds with an Aquarius? I feel like there's someone here that you are going to meet up with. I feel like that you want to make something right with someone that you left in the past, but you didn't want things to end with this person. But maybe there was someone here that was keeping the two of you apart, causing a barrier between the two of you. I feel that you might have some resentment toward possibly a Capricorn, Capricorn Aquarius cusp maybe. Um, you're ha Okay, you're wanting to leave. Move on from something. Move on from an issue or move on from a person. I feel like someone left the house because of a fight because of an argument, some type of conflict, because someone felt like they were an option. This could be your baby's dad, or whomever this is, your husband, because he was seeing another woman, he or she, your wife, maybe. Someone was very hasty. Someone feels that they maybe fell in love hasty, made a hasty decision um, to leave someone in the past to let them go, to push them away. And someone here feels used and feels hurt because of some type of infidelity. And someone here wants a new start. They want a real commitment, an honest commitment, not a fake situation. Someone here is possibly waiting for someone to leave a third party so that the relationship can be rebuilt. 
But why is the Seven of Swords here? Right? Because someone wasn't serious about the relationship. You found out about their secret or found out what it is that they were doing behind closed doors that they didn't want you to see. And now you're wondering, do they really even love me? Do they even care for me the same way that I do? Um, there could be a difference in age. I, I think I did say this already, or this could be like a... a like I said, a, a mother and child situation. You might be at odds with your child because maybe they have some type of addiction. I'm seeing Taurus, Sagittarius. You could have both of those in your chart. You could have air in your chart as well. You could be at odds, like I said, with an air sign. I feel that... You're trying to find balance. You're weighing the pros and cons of a situation. Someone here wants commitment and they're, they're, they're standing on their ground and they're saying, I want nothing more. I will wait for someone to commit before I compromise. But at the same time, I'm seeing that someone here wants a second chance. Someone here is waiting for someone to leave a third party. Someone here that they may have a family with, children with. It could even be an air sign individual or a Capricorn individual that they're waiting, okay? It could even be an Aries, but someone here is waiting. And someone here is feeling codependent on this relationship. Someone is feeling here that, that this is where they get their confidence from, right? That they need this relationship. They need this closeness with someone that they miss, right? Someone is in separation from someone that they want to reawaken or recapture a romance with. This is weird. Because this is supposed to be a couple's reading, but it feels so disjointed and it feels so separate. It doesn't, of course, the two of you may be going through a separation and this could be how they're feeling toward you. They may want to make advances toward you and, and put this waiting or this separation to an end. Someone is saying, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of you being away. I'm tired of your absence, right? I miss you. I miss the way that you used to hold me, the way that you used to make me laugh, right? Someone is, like I said, codependent. I feel like this is kind of one-sided here. I feel like one of you wanted commitment. You're saying this is the one for me. But the other one of you is wanting to keep an open mind and possibly do their own thing. So I see someone here who has a wandering eye. Someone here, maybe you were waiting for your feeling, this person's feelings to grow for you. I don't feel like the two of you were on the same page. This doesn't really read as a, as a couple's reading. Someone here didn't know what they wanted. So I feel like this person was going back and forth between you and someone else. You're weighing the pro pros and cons of the situation, but you miss them even though they were sneaky and deceptive. And they had other agendas and they were seeing someone else on the side because trust and believe there are definitely three people in this scenario. Someone here may have left you to have a new start, possibly with someone that they're married to, lived with, or had a family with, and this left you feeling defeated. Okay? Um, you may be tempted to go and visit them and go see about them to see if you can get some type of answer, to see if the two of you can possibly have a second chance, because you feel like this is your soulmate, the one that you're meant to be with. But now I feel like someone here is trying to stir up the confidence to fix this. Okay, because I do feel that the two of you are at odds. You're not on the same page. Either you weren't on the same page about the true status of your relationship. Because for some of you, I'm feeling like this wasn't a, an exclusive relationship. Well, obviously, it wasn't exclusive if there was someone here that someone was hiding. I feel like some, you, maybe you're wondering if someone is hiding their feelings for you. So there's an apology here that you're waiting for, for some of you. You want to start again, but you're waiting for that apology. Maybe you're waiting for them to come see you so that the two of you can talk things out, okay? Because you do love this person, Sagittarius, but I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a but. There's, there's repetition, repetition of a cycle. Yeah, They're, they've got someone else. Then they lied to you about it. So yeah, it is unrequited love, but you feel like this is their, that you're their soulmate. That they're your soulmate, that they're the one for you, but they're married to someone else, Sag. <sighs> wow. Married to their career? No, someone's married. Someone has been with someone for maybe 10 years or more. They've been in a long-term relationship. If they're not legally married, I feel like someone's common law married. 
you want to work on this, you want to rebuild it, you're waiting for them to make to get a divorce possibly. Okay. See how they're feeling towards you. I just heard Aquarius, but we already did mention Aquarius. It looks like you're tired of missing someone, you're tired of the cycle, and you're tired of waiting. Tired of nurturing something that you don't feel is going to grow. You're not getting straight answers from someone. Sagittarius at times, Sagittarius cross watcher, you might be feeling like your partner is childish. Or like I said, they could be a child. This could be your child. Some of you could be going to court, possibly over child support. You're not sure if this is going to work, cross watcher. I don't know if you don't feel like it's going to work with your current partner or your current situation or with someone else, a third party. Sagittarius, cross watcher, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, signs, Holy Spirit for the second half of, first half of September. I don't know why I'm so fixated on the second half. Something significant is going to happen in the second half for some of you. Some of you, I feel that your partner is mourning the loss of this relationship. They, def they definitely miss you. They feel like you've iced them out, that you're very cold and distant from them. And they feel that they can't come to you. So I feel like someone here is really suffering in silence. Some of you, you could be grieving a loss of the relationship or a loss of someone. Um, you definitely, they feel like you're up, that, that you're not going to change. I'm saying trickery. You, you have, you constantly keep them in a third party. They love you, true enough, but they want you to pursue them. They want to feel like they're being pursued and they're not always running after you. Um... I feel that you are trying to get grounded or that spirit is definitely trying to send you a very urgent message about something or there could have been someone that really passed away and there could be a message coming in from a loved one that may have passed away. Um, you're concerned about money. Right now you're saying, I'm focused on my career. I'm career driven. Are you wanting to go back? You're trying to find the strength to figure something out. You're, we you're waiting to decide whether or not you want to continue to give to a situation, to nurture a situation, to continue to put love into a situation that has done nothing but hurt you. I feel like you guys are definitely stepping into your higher power. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. Some of you could be dealing with... Um, what could be an Aquarius, Aries? That's intense. Okay. Someone here, your cross watcher, is having their own personal issues. And, if it, and I feel that they need some time to, you know, figure things out. Okay? Because they could be going through some type of financial problem and trying to fix the financial burden that they're having. So right now, they might be focused on, you know, fixing a part of their lives that may entail finances. They may not be thinking about giving this a second chance, or your cross-watcher may feel that you are their soulmate, but they don't feel like this is going to work, that you would give them a second chance, that you would even revisit the situation. Your cross-watcher feels used. Chances are they might be feeling that way. They might be feeling that you don't love them. They're wondering, are they coming up empty? Do you still care? Because they've been waiting for an apology someone, whether it's you or them. They're waiting for an apology. They're waiting for you to come see them and check on them, check on their well-being. They feel like you're being very distant and cold that, and that you don't care. Okay, Because I'm saying that one of you is very open to the idea of this relationship and one of you is just very cold and distant physical distance okay you might be waiting for an air sign to come and see you or come and see your children but someone here is saying i don't know what i want to do all right i want to keep my options open i don't want to close myself in and this could have you feeling very worried someone here is very worried very emotional about a situation crying about something but i'm saying someone i feel like forgiveness is coming in but it's like you're afraid to accept this person's apology or let them in because you already know that they're married. They're with someone else. But they might be taking a break from their, their current partner. Or they're 
there's they're they're absent they're absent from you or they're absent from someone that they're married to because keep in mind like i said i want to remind you there are three people in this reading this isn't about just a couple there's someone here that has kind of stepped in right i don't feel like they were invited in i feel like someone invaded the territory of the relationship and someone is feeling resentful and afraid to let someone back in. So someone's feeling torn about making a decision to um, revisit a situation or to go and see someone. Because someone has a secret. There are definitely, look at this, two women in this scenario. And a king. See? Someone is having to make a decision. And maybe they need some time and space to figure it out. Who they really want to be with. You or them. And I feel like this is very similar to the Aries reading where this person is going back and forth between you and this other person. Hasty. Someone is very hasty, very in and out of your life. Reckless. I feel like you want to start over. Or they left to start over with someone else. Somebody here is pregnant. Somebody stepped out on their partner and got somebody pregnant. And I'm saying someone is single. You want to be joined to somebody though. Somebody's married. Somebody's tied to someone or has an obligation to someone. Someone here doesn't want to break a promise or break away from someone. You're feeling like this is a waste of time and maybe you got into an argument with them. Someone here is saying, I'm not leaving my wife, I'm not leaving my kids. Somebody could have backpedaled and decided that they, rather than coming to be with you as they had promised, they broke that promise and they decided to work on their current relationship. You might find that your partner is in love with someone else. Uh, what is this? Am I on the right track? Yeah, you're feeling like your relationship is dissipating. Somebody's Either this is you guys coming together, you'll know how this resonates for you. It's either you guys coming together or they're leaving to be with someone else. They left you to be with someone else. Someone here is afraid to be alone. It's like you're willing to settle and compromise your own happiness just to have someone there. You don't want to let go of this person. Someone feels that they need a break to figure out what it is that they want to do. Someone is going to have to release something and move on. And this might be you, Sag, releasing the memory, releasing whatever this is that you've been holding on to and moving on, moving forward. Some of you may be missing someone that is in a beach area on the coast. Yeah, you're feeling hopeless. You may have found out that your partner or who you perceive to be a partner of yours or someone that you were in love with is married because I don't feel like this is a relationship. I feel like this is a friendship and maybe you thought things were going to move and have some type of progress and grow, but now you're just saying, you know what, I, I'm just going to have to let this go and it's time for me to move on. I'm tired of waiting at a distance from someone, for someone. You're waiting for things to change. So I do feel that your heart will heal, and I feel that for, for a lot of you, you have someone new coming in. For others of you, you may revisit this whole situation at a later time. But I str strongly feel that someone here has their mind made up about where they want to be, or that's what you're waiting for, someone that have a made-up mind and to speak with speak the truth or to speak up because someone here is not speaking up they're not being honest or they're not speaking up at all someone here is blowing smoke you could be watching this person on social media the number three is going to be significant for you you may have three children with someone or this is a third cycle of something some of you definitely want to go into business with people um or or you are maybe reconsidering a business um, a, a career choice right wanting to help other people someone is staying out of obligation because someone is sick someone is ill 
That could be why they're absent. You're missing someone that passed away for some of you. There could be a change in perception. Who has emerald? That's Taurus. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Some of you are feeling impatient for someone to reach out. Or you're impatiently reaching out to someone, an Aquarius or a Gemini. This could be someone that is of service to, to the community or helping people who feel sick or who feel that they're defenseless. <sighs> okay. Yeah, some of you are going to school. You're waiting for a judgment. You're waiting for somebody to get a divorce, possibly a water sign, so that the two of you can be together. And there's just been constant argument after arguing, and you're tired of waiting. And I feel like, Sag, you're saying I'm better off single. Okay. Holy Spirit, please, the advice for the Sagittarius couples, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the first half of September. Sagittarius couples. Someone here doesn't want to settle down. Someone is not sure what they want. Oh, sad. Surrender the idea that you can fix someone. Someone here is broken, but they don't want to appear as though they're broken. Someone here is shady. They don't have any inkling about how to show you any type of love because they don't even have love within themselves. So why try to fix them? It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or own, her own healing. This speaks volumes, Sagittarius. And this may be the deciding factor for you. Can you, you can't fix someone. You can't make someone be committed. You can't make someone stay if they really want to go. And someone here secretly doesn't, didn't really want to be there or they were there under false pretenses. Surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Are you procrastinating on someone? I was going to say something, but yes, someone in particular. I feel like you know what to do, Sag. I'm saying you, you and your loved ones are safe. Some of you are concerned about a cancer. Or someone may have cancer. Someone is in ill health at a distance from you. Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale slowly. Exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Let go of the stress. Someone here is stressing you out and you're procrastinating letting them go because you're trying to fix them. So you continue to run in place and not make any progress waiting for someone. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend some time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy there. Some of you could definitely benefit from going on a vacation or a change of scenery to kind of shift your perspective on things. Surrender to spirit. It says, once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let the spirit work its, mag Let spirit work its magic for you. So this is saying surrender. You can't fix this person. Let it go. Focus on you. Focus on your health. Focus on the things that make you feel um, happy. I'm hearing compromise. Stop compromising your happiness for someone. You're impatient. Some of you are impatient for love to come in that you'll just settle for anybody. This isn't everybody that feels this way, but I feel that some of you, you know that this person is really not good for you, but you're waiting around for them, Sag, to change. And chances are they may not be changing anytime soon. But that's what I see for you, Sagittarius couples. <sighs> Again, my meet and greet is the 21st of September. I'd love to meet you guys. As it will be in the LA area on the 21st. RSVP on my website. Guys, again, if you'd like an in-person reading, I'm available that day. I have four uh, time slots available. Um, first come, first serve basis. So those of you who are who book those slots first, you'll be in, in line, first priority to have that, that in-person reading if you're interested. Okay. 
And the meet and greet once again is on the 21st in the LA area. Take good care. Oh, and yes, let me remind you of my sale. $50 currently on a 30-minute live phone reading session. Jump on it. It's on my website. It's for three days only. It ends the 7th of September at midnight Pacific Standard Time. Peace, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so that you get the um, notification of when I upload because I do upload frequently. I'll talk to you guys again in another video. Bye for now.